Hi, I'm Sartinambe and welcome to my channel. Hi everyone, hope everyone's doing amazing. Great, yay. <laughs> so in today's video, this is gonna be the kickstart of a project that I'm doing on here. Well, a series, a series season? something like that called what I've learned in my 20s as I'm going to turn 30 in 30 days March 23rd 2023 I'm turning 30 so as a present to myself I wanted to take the time to reflect and look over my 20s and what I've learned about different aspects of my life but also myself and how I've shown up and just everything that your 20s embody so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what I've learned in my 20s in regards to friendships. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So, so to kick things off, I think I need to talk about what was life like for me? What was like, okay. What was life like for Pasatu during her 20s and how I felt with friendships and everything like that? Uh, so yeah, so basically, growing up i always felt lonely <laughs> even though i did have friends i really did feel as if i was by myself a lot of the time i don't know why i just did i did find difficulties trying to balance well trying to balance and understand that my friends have a life outside of friendship <laughs> especially when romantic relationships come into play as well and majority of my close friends are like my friend my close friendship circle they're in relationships and that was quite difficult because um it was just hard because for me personally like i would be like oh i want to spend my time with you guys hey like let's go crazy a lot of my 20s it was spent definitely feeling as if i was chasing friendships a lot of the time and i definitely along the way i've learned how to just cope with not only the changing of how friendships are and relationships are and connection but also understanding how i react in certain situations and learning how to understand and accept life as it happens basically i'm a very passionate person when it comes to life in general especially when it comes to my friends my friends are like my family they're like my sisters so i really do appreciate them and see them as my everything to a certain degree um so in the past i definitely experienced a lot of crying heartbreak funny enough in friendships and just always wanting to be a part of something and i think that was the lingering effects of just going through the internal bottles i had within myself growing up just wanting to feel accepted and seen and appreciated by people and valued so my friendships definitely I was a very passionate person in the friendship and very like, you're my friend, care about me, <laughs> type of vibe. So one of the first things that I've learnt um, in my 20s about friendships is um, people don't always put you in the same regards as you do them. Um, yeah, ain't that the truth? I think with this, oh, how do I even bloody explain this? So yeah, so I think it's kind of self-explanatory to be honest. I feel like the way that you you show up in someone's life can be completely completely different to how someone can show up in your life. And I think I definitely had to learn that the hard way and understanding that just because someone in your life is someone that is in high regards doesn't mean that you're in high regards in their life. They might have someone else in their life that already is in that, what's the word I'm looking for? That's already in that role for them. And I feel like, I had to come to terms of understanding that everyone's roles within in, in, within an individual's life is going to be different. It's not it's not always going to be an equal playing field or an equivalent um, playing field. Playing field. Oh my god, why can't I talk? Uh -huh. And that's just what it is, especially as you grow older. I would I would say. Um, and then number two, um, don't put so much expectations on people. <laughs> yeah, um, people are not psychic and people are human too and i had to learn that the hard way i'm going to say that term continuously throughout this video <laughs> definitely i can't compare how i would show up for someone and how i would show my friendship and my love and care for someone and what i would do for someone i can't compare that to 
or expect someone to do that for me as well because with their own person with their own individual emotions thought process in the way that they do things and how they show love and care and appreciation and show their friendship to someone and i think that's why i had to learn and to accept that if i choose to still be friends with them and i think i had to definitely learn that just because you bend over backwards and go through hoops per se for that person or you feel like you're going through hoops for that person doesn't mean that they have to do the same for you um and that's just the harsh reality of it it's not bad it's not good it's just what it is really so yeah number three is learn to accept and let go of relationships that don't serve you anymore and don't force anything yes i feel like i definitely have been a part of one-sided friendships to a certain degree <laughs> um just because do you ever sometimes realize you're just like okay like if i don't message you you don't message me you don't kind of say hey the other way do you know what i mean so i think i definitely learned that if what have i learned <laughs> if a friendship has run its course allow it to do so yes in the moment it will definitely hurt and be something that you will miss but at the same time it's just a part of life i guess and i definitely would say in my 20s i've been through that where i've had friends that i was considered to be like sisters and we were very very close at a time in my life where we did everything together we used to speak every day we used to do a lot of things together and experience a lot of things together as well um and sometimes along the way that fizzles out uh, as the saying goes um you need to understand if the person's here for a season a reason or a lifetime and i guess a lot of people when it comes to friendships that i've experienced have just been here for seasons or reasons and i've had to learn to really swallow that pill and to let go and understand that i'm not needed in their life anymore for whatever reason and to not take it so personally even though it's very hard to not do that um because you just start to question yourself like what is wrong with me why am i not enough to be a be a presence in your life but i feel like like i was saying earlier everyone has their own individual experiences and emotions and journeys that they go on in life and i think i definitely learned to understand if someone doesn't want to message me back after i'm the one that's always like happy birthday how are you how are you doing and i don't get that reciprocated and it's always me starting off the conversation then it's probably a one-sided friendship and i know what it is and to accept it doesn't mean that they don't appreciate me or care about me just means that i'm just not on the priority list and how they see friendship hierarchies and stuff so yeah i hope that makes sense so yes <laughs> number four appreciate those Ooh, appreciate those sorry appreciate those who continue to choose to be your friend and to choose you so yes um during the last few years of my life I would definitely say that I have gone through quite tumultuous, not tumultuous, but I've gone through experiences where people have dropped me or don't want to talk to me anymore for whatever reason, or understanding that in the earlier things that I've learned that I'm not a priority or I'm not like that to them as a friend. I'm just something, I don't know. And I think with all of this happening, and experiencing all those things, it really allowed me to take a step back and to take a look around me and see who has always truly been there for me. Um, and it allowed me to have gratitude and to be thankful for those who truly do see me and appreciate me and what I bring to their lives as a person, as an individual. And I appreciate and value them so much for what they bring to my life as well and how we cooperate together as friends and as people that choose to have each other in our lives and to work through issues if we do have them but also to celebrate together when we have our triumphs too i think that in my 20s i definitely have appreciated and seen who my friends are who my true friends are my core cool base of friendships that i will call my girls and i understand now who are people that are acquaintances friends that i can obviously go out with and have a drink with and have fun and blah 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 like i get that do you know what i mean but the core people at my being that i will call if i have an issue um i learned to appreciate them um so 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 much so it's allowed me just to take a step back and just really just breathe and be like i love you guys so yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> also, I'm so excited about the new friendships and connections that I have garnered within the last year as well. As well as losing friends, I also have gained a lot of friends that have been very amazing, open and very fun people that are just unique within themselves, but also that really are just amazing individuals. So I'm also very excited on the new connections that I've made and to know that as well as appreciating the core people in my life that have been in my life since I was like 11, um, to also appreciate and honouring and thanking the new people in my life that have been there and have had a lot of fun and drunken nights with but also had a lot of like hugs and kisses with as well so I want to put that out there. Last one is understanding the changing of dynamics as life happens. Yeah that one so <laughs> as time goes on and as we age and life happens to us and we get new jobs we go into romantic relationships we have children we we have our own self-discovery moments things are going to change and being comfortable with the idea of a dynamic changing in a friendship and allowing that not to tint or hinder the way that i see the friendship and understanding that we are going to grow apart in distance but in heart and matter and in friendship and connection we will always be bonded and i think i definitely learned that in my 20s that just because someone has priorities that are different to what i'm used to doesn't mean that they don't love or care for me they will show their love and care in a different way and yeah like life happens and as i'm getting older i'm starting to understand that things are going to be so so different summary of everything i can truly say that friendships have always been something that's been a staple in my life that have really been the pillars for me i think especially because i don't really i didn't have a close relationship with my family like that so my friends were truly like my sisters and i put so much value in them to truly be there for me and i would always be there for be there for them i feel like people underestimate the power of friendship and the connection that is cultivated i remember watching something and someone saying that um sometimes a woman's first love um true first love that is outside of the um family relations is a woman if they if if you're surrounded by women obviously but yeah is it will be a woman and having that strong like love and connection and obsession with an individual is probably one of your best friends <laughs> and i've been through that um so yeah and there's nothing worse than i would say a friendship breakup that heartbreak jesus hit the wheel honestly it's like hell um i think it's because we never anticipate the ending of a friendship but we always have in the back of our mind that in a in a romantic relationship there's always a possibility that this won't work for whatever reason but i think with friendships we never go into it thinking that we just go into it very in the present moment so when it ends it's very it can be very hurtful I feel like there's a void a little bit and stuff but yeah basically <laughs> friendships just like romantic relationships they take work it takes two individuals or multiple individuals whoever's involved in the situation um to put the working to to sustain this connection and relationship that you have and it's about all parties really truly wanting to be there showing up um showing themselves and yeah just putting in the work to sustain something that they want to be a part of and just also to say we're all human we're all trying to navigate and figure stuff out i know for me i definitely probably have had a hand in people not wanting to be friends with me for negative reasons for whatever reasons that's fine we all will always play a role in some type of way whether it's negative or positive in someone's life intentional or intentional and that's just what it is we're all just here on earth to trying to figure out what is the best way we can possibly live our lives and we all want our best but what is the conflict of interest is how we do that so yeah humans are complicated baby so yeah so that is the end of my spiel about what i've learned um in my 20s about friendships so i hope this makes sense <laughs> um have a lovely day or lovely situation whatever time of the day you're watching this but yeah have a lovely moment um i'll see you in the next video and take it easy be nice to yourself you're doing your best